Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Guys, today is the day after the Call of Duty Cold War re reveal. I had the video that went out yesterday of me, like, I was, like, watching it as I was making my opinions. And today, I actually have a pros and cons list of after watching a lot of the streamers. I was watching mainly Skump and Tim the Tatman play. So, I actually have a, I made a pros and cons list from the little amount of gameplay that I watched. All right, looks like we got some scrap right here. I'm going to pull out the Uzi just because I can. And, uh, oh, look what we have. We have a TTV kid, dude imagine being a ttv kid could not be me so like i said i made like a what i what i see are the pros and cons now i did find a couple of cons but they're not like you know what i'm saying they're not like game changing things the cons are could also be like so one of the main cons is the fact that the score streaks don't like go away when you die like your score streak keeps going like it it kind of like check marks at your score streak so if you get like if your score streak strikes spy plane, attack helicopter, chopper gunner, and you get the attack helicopter, or you get the UAV, and you get halfway to the attack helicopter, and then you die, you don't go back down to zero. You go back down to where your UAV was, it looked like. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know that it's stacked, which is, like, not good. Now, that could also just be, first of all, it could be a glitch, because I mean, they're playing a pre-alpha build, or they're playing an alpha build which means the game like they still have a lot more work that needs to be done um so you know who knows who knows what that, that could have been a glitch or maybe it could have been just because they were playing like 12 beat 12 like game modes i think at one point or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure if i just rattle off the the pros real quick let me just lay down here if i write off the pros real quick we have like score streaks as a pro which is incredible ninja is a perk which is awesome now ninja from when I was watching Scump, someone asked him, like, are you completely silenced when you're running? And he said he doesn't think so. So my guess is that, like, when you're running, you are quieter. And then hopefully when you're walking or crouching, you're completely dead silent. And that's that's good enough for me. I know that we obviously, like, want to be able to run and be completely silent. But I will take whatever I can get. If we have to, like, in Search and Destroy, play a little bit slower and be a little bit more tactical, that's all right by me. Because it makes it just a little bit more tactical. So... Yeah, score streaks are obviously a pro though because people can't just sit in their corners and get kill streaks as easily because the kill streaks, like so for instance, if you don't know exactly what that means, let's say a UAV is four kills, right? Four kill streak if it was a kill streak. Now if it was a score streak, I just seen that guy. If it was a score streak, it would be a 500 score streak, which means that you can either get like four kills and one hard point objective or you can get five kills so like it's making it more kills if you don't do hard points or you could just do five hard point objectives you know what i'm saying so that's that is like a big deal next we have which i said in yesterday's video controls back which is awesome we have three lane maps which are awesome so far everyone was only complaining about one of the maps which is the snow map which every year everyone always complains about the snow map for some reason snow maps just they just are not good in Call of Duty. Uh, the time to kill doesn't seem too bad. Someone was asking Scump. I, I obviously couldn't tell as I wasn't actually playing. But based off of what I was watching, it seemed like it was fast, but not like crazy fast. I mean, I th honestly think Modern Warfare isn't terrible. Now, Modern Warfare is a bit quick sometimes, especially with headshot multipliers. But there's nothing you can really do about that. One thing I will say, though, speaking of the time to kill, the health bar is back, which is something that I really like. Now... I will say, like, when the, when the health bar's back, you're going to have, like, less sneaky plays because, you know, if you, like, try to throw a stun around a corner, you're going to be able to hit someone and you're going to see their health bar a little bit through the through the wall a little bit. But, I mean, I'm sure that they will have some kind of a system to make sure that that kind of stuff doesn't happen. Where was this guy? Nothing. That's awesome. Returning the edit class mid-round. Gunsmith is back, which is awesome. And then a big thing that we missed, we've missed dearly, was the mini-map is back. It actually works, and also something we miss dearly is theater mode. Like, theater mode, like, so I personally don't make my montages like these sniper boys do, but that's okay. So the snipers, they make their montages, so that's good for them, but for people like me, theater mode is awesome for, like, you know, if, you, if I ever wanted to do a funny edit, I could go to theater mode, or, you know, for a thumbnail, we go to theater mode. Or, I mean, I did not mean to switch guns there. I accidentally hit triangle, son of a gun. But even if you're just, like, actually, like, if you're actually just trying to learn the game, and you can learn, like, what happens, you could go to theater mode. I mean, theater mode is awesome. I'm glad it's making a comeback. I, the reason, I, what I think is the reason why they took it out. Dude, I'm not paying attention. I'm so excited about Call of Duty right now. Uh, I think the reason why they took out theater mode in the first place was because they were saying that 
like every system now like has a built-in like dvr system where you can just record however you can't like free roam dude everyone's drop shotting do i have to like go try hard or what here and then the last thing which is the most important pro for me before we get into the cons is that the pro players were playing early like Dude, this revenge guy is trying his heart out. Yeah, he has 16 kills. He is trying his little heart out right now. He keeps drop shotting me. I think even like that last kill when he was behind me, I think he drop shotted me when he was behind, which was just silly. Like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pick it up real quick for these nerds. Oh wait, actually, I was gonna say um, the last thing was pro, like the pro players are playing, which is awesome. I hate being stunned. But the other nice thing is like when you're playing hard point and you don't know where the next hard point is, like I never do, it'll tell you where the next hard point is, which is pretty cool. But I love the fact that the pros players were playing, because I love a good, I love a good pro game. I'm gonna turn up on these nerds real quick. I'm gonna turn up on these nerds real quick. Wait, is there another guy in here? There was. Where, where'd you go? There you are. I can actually have a mini map working right now because you have a UAV. Oh, you lucky, dude. So, that, that about wraps it up for my pros. Unless I can think of anything else off the top of my head. I don't think so, though. The pros the pros playing the game really is, like, the biggest thing for me. Because now I really... And that they also, like, during like during their build, they had CWL, like, the Call of Duty World League, in the... Like, on the screen. Like, during, like you know, during the Pro League. Which makes me think that... Oh, wait, you know what? I just thought of another one. Speaking of that Call of Duty World League thing being there, one of the developers tweeted out saying, like, Hey, I see people are side-canceling. Like, we're going to fix that. Or, no, they said that that's already fixed in the next patch. Now, so, I personally don't mind side canceling. I like the fastness of it. But what matters to me is the fact that they said that they see the side canceling. And they see the pros were complaining about it. And they already fixed it. Which is what we want. We want the pros to be happy. Because, listen, guys. The content creators, they, they, they just want to have a good time, okay? They don't actually care. If the game's a little broken or whatnot. As a matter of fact, when a game has a little glitch or a bug in it, then they like it because they could make a quick YouTube video on it. You know what I'm saying? The pros are the ones who actually are going to make the game, like, feel incredible, which is what we need. So, dude, no one is even coming to the hill. I just want to slay these nerds out for drop shotting me so much. All right, now, I do just have a few cons, and some of these cons might not even be cons. They're just, based off of what I've seen, they seem not good. So, the first one is they... As far, not that I've seen anyway, they didn't confirm a proceed system. Like they, they also didn't confirm like the other system either. So that is, you know, I would imagine. Oh my goodness, knowing Mr. David Vonderhart, that if there was a proceed system, he would have been really loud and proud of telling us that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of what I really was hoping for, was a proceed system. But he didn't say anything, so I don't know. I'm. I hope that there's a prestige system. I want to be able to just grind out. I want to be able to prestige. And I want to hit like a max rank of a thousand. I just want to play Call of Duty and actually like... I don't want to hit level 155 and then be done, you know? I want to I want to play some Call of Duty. You go on first. I need to bait you for this VTOL. I need to bait you for this VTOL and you're baiting me right now. Thank you. Alright, airspace is too crowded now. Whatever. I'm just going to drop this precision on someone. You're right there. Watch. Let me go smoke this nerd. Oh, I got the assist. I'll take it. I only have two other cons, and the other con is that there there was no dogs kill streak, which I really like. I hope Chopper Gunner isn't the highest kill streak. I hope. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, revenge! You just got beam, son. I hope that dogs makes a comeback because it's just nice to have like some kind of crazy high. Like they can make it a really high. Wait, I can't call my veto because someone else called in theirs. Oh, no, wait. His veto is going away. I need to stay here and call mine in before this game ends. I only have 29 kills because I'm out here playing the objective like a good boy. Oh, boy, I stink. Um, Yeah, so no dogs kind of stinks because, I mean, and once again, they might add that in, which would be awesome. Wow, we smoked these guys. I My kill-off ratio cannot be good, though. I had a ton of deaths there, and my veto didn't get a single kill. 30 and 22. At least I didn't go negative, but... I mean, I, I started actually, like, focusing on the game more at the end and got my VTOL. But that is what it is. And so my final con is that, so every class, let me let me use an example right here. So every class has all this. Perks, lethal, tactical, uh, your primary and your secondary. But then they have the bottom, like, the greed cards. Like, do you, if you remember Black Ops 2, they had, like, perk 1 greed, perk 2 greed, perk 3 greed. So there's, like, I think there were, like, five of them. One of them was, like, perk greed, where you just bring up straight up three more perks. And then... One of them was, like, you bring more lethals, and then one of them was... I don't remember, but the one that I don't like, I seen Jailbreak in there, or Lawbreaker. Lawbreaker in there, which means that you can... It said the description of it is you can bring 
any gun in any slot, which means that it's overkill, basically. And I was watching, and people like Tim the Time Man were running around with snipers and SMGs, and I already hate that. And I'm pretty sure skill-based matchmaking is confirmed, but honestly, when you're playing Search and Destroy, for me, it doesn't really matter in Search and Destroy, so I don't, I don't really care about that. And in League Play, obviously, I want there to be skill-based matchmaking. I just want League Play at release. And that's all I have. I just checked my list. I went over everything. So that's just based off of the alpha build. We have the beta coming up soon. So I don't know if I'm going to be playing the PlayStation 4 like beta because I'm not going to pre-order it on PlayStation. I'm pre-ordering it on PC. But I will be playing the PlayStation 4 open beta. And then I'll be playing the cross-platform beta and the cross-platform open beta. So we'll see. I'll be streaming those, obviously, if I can. I'm sure I'll be able to. Even if Taylor's not working, I'll be like, hey, this is kind of a big deal. So guys, for today's secret message what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about g fuel by the way use code emgg at checkout for g fuel scuff gaming dx tracer meta threads but today's secret message is guess my flavor of g fuel hint i have a hint for you it's my favorite flavor i've said it many times you can get this finally there will be a stream tonight i know i said that in yesterday's video but taylor's schedule work schedule changed like last second her work schedule changed so she didn't work uh yesterday for me to be able to stream so she does she is still working so I can stream tonight, and then also, she I wasn't going to be able to stream this weekend, but now, since her work schedule changed, I am going to be able to stream this weekend. So my plans are to stream tonight, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then Friday night, I will not be streaming. I have something uh, pretty cool going on, potentially pretty cool happening Friday night. I'll let you guys know about that this weekend, and then Saturday and Sunday at noon eastern standard time are my right now my planned times that i want to do the streams and they're going to be those are going to be like long ones and then also for tonight's stream uh i don't know if we're playing among us or call of duty because my plan was last night to play among us on stream and tonight to play call of duty and i still kind of want to play call of duty tonight and then maybe among us this weekend like for a longer time i'm not 100 percent sure though but i'll see you there regardless thank you guys for stopping by goodbye also wait please like the video thank you Thank you.